Welcome to Chapter 11, the Female Reproductive System Obstetrics and Neonatology. During this chapter, we're going to be reviewing the location of the primary structures in the female reproductive system. You'll be able to define terms related to the process of the menstrual cycle and obstetrics. Define word parts related to this system, common medical terminology, and abbreviations of the reproductive system, obstetrics, and neonatology. So you need to understand the anatomy and physiology. So the functions of the female reproductive system are to produce the female sex hormones, to propagate life by producing and sustaining ova, to transport ova to a site where they may be fertilized by spermatozoa, to support and nurture a developing fetus in a favorable environment until birth, and to provide an infant's first source of nutrition and protective antibodies after birth through breast milk. The organs and structures include the external genital organs, or their uh, functions are to enable spermatozoa to enter the body, to protect the internal genital organs from infectious organisms, and provide sexual pleasure. Here is a diagram of the external female genitalia, the mons pubis, the vulva, the urethral medus, the vaginal entoides, or the entrance, the perineum, the anus, the labia minora, the labia major, and the clitoris. The internal genital organs are structures involved in human reproduction and form a pathway called the genital tract. The breasts contain the milk-producing organs that nourish an infant. Here is another uh, diagram of the female reproductive system and make sure that you're able to identify each of those uh, organs um, in each part of that anatomy. Breasts are the female organs of milk secretion. The areola is the pigmented area around the breast nipple. The lactiferous ducts are the channels that carry breast milk to the nipple. The lactiferous lobules are the glands in the breast that make breast milk. The mammary glands, often that's the breasts, are modified sweat glands um, located in the breast that prepare for milk production in anticipation of the birth of the fetus. Fetus, the mammary papilla are, is the breast nipple. The genitalia is the external and internal organs of reproduction. The mons pubis is the rounded mound of fatty tissue that covers the pubic bone. Here's a diagram of the breast with the lactiferous duct and the mammary papilla, the nipple, and you can see the lactiferous lobules as well. The ovaries are a pair of oval reproductive glands attached to the uterus that produce hormones and release the opa, ova. The corpus luteum is the temporary endocrine gland formed in the ovary that secretes progesterone during the second half of the menstrual cycle. The vesicular ovarian follicles or graphene follicles are fluid-filled sacs in the ovaries, each containing an immature ovum. An oocyte is an immature ovum or egg cell contained in a follicle. Here is a picture of the fundus, the salphinx, the ovary, uterus, uterus, cervix, and vagina. Here is a microscopic view of the ovary, including the ovum and the ovarian follicle. The perineum is the surface area between the thighs extending from the coccyx to the pubis that includes the anus posteriorly and external genitalia anteriorly. The salphinges or the fallopian tubes are the tubular structures that carry the ovum from the ovary to the uterus. The fimbria are the finger-like extensions of the salphinx that drape over the ovary. The uterus or the womb is the pear-shaped organ located in the middle of the pelvis that supports a growing fetus and is the site of menses. The adnexa is, are the appendages or adjunct parts.
parts, the adnexa of the uterus consists of the salpinges, the ovaries, and the ligaments that hold them together. The endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus, and the myometrium is the thick muscular middle layer of the uterus. The uterus continued includes the um, parametrium, or the outer layer of the uterus that covers the body of the uterus and part of the cervix. The cervix is the tubular lower portion of the uterus that opens into the vagina. The cervical os is the opening of the cervical canal. The fundus is the dome-shaped top portion of the uterus that lies above the entrance of the salpinges or salpinges. Um, here is a diagram of the uterus with the fetus and all of the amniotic sac, placenta, placenta, wall of the uterus, umbilical cord, the amniotic fluid, the, um, all of the different diagrams of the uh, uterus with the fetus. The vaginal birth canal includes the muscular tube projecting inside a female that connects the uterus to the outside of the body. The greater vestibular glands or the Bartholin glands are the glands that keep the vaginal mucosa moist and provides a lubricant for the vagina during sexual intercourse. The introitus is the opening of the vagina. The vulva includes the female external genital organs, the clitoris, which is the small mass of erectile tissue in females that responds to sexual stimulation. The labia are two sets of skin folds that serve to cover the female external genital organs and tissues, the labia majora and labia minora. The majora is the part of the labia that covers and protects the female external genital organs. And the minora is the inner folds of the labia that surround the openings uh, to the vagina and urethra. Uh, Terms related to obstetrics include the amnion, or the inner layer of the membrane surrounding the fetus and containing the amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid is the fluid that encases the fetus and provides a cushion for the fetus as the mother moves. The corian is the outermost membrane surrounding the fetus. Conception or fertilization is the instant in which the spermatozoa and egg unite. Effacement is a thinning of the cervix in pr preparation for delivery. The embryo is the fertilized ovum from the time of implantation in the uterus until about the eighth week of gestation. A fetus is the developing embryo from the eighth week of gestation until delivery. The gamete is an organism's reproductive cell, such as a sperm or egg cell. Um, HCG, or human chorionic gonadotrophin, is the hormone secreted by the fertilized ovum soon after conception. Lactation is the production of breast milk by the mammary glands after childbirth. The lochia uh, discharges from the vagina mucus, blood, and tissue debris following childbirth. Ovulation is the process of discharging one ovum from an ovary. The placenta is the temporary organ implanted in the uterus through which the fetus receives nutrients and oxygen from the mother's blood and passes waste. Pregnancy or gestation is the state of a female after conception and until delivery. Prolactin is the lactation stimulating hormone. Prolactin, um, again, is the lactation stimulating hormone. The umbilical cord is the cord composed of blood vessels and connective tissues that is connected to the fetus from the placenta. The zygote is the cell resulting from the un union of a sperm and oocyte. Combining forms are cervico for neck or cervix, neck of the uterus, gyno or gynaco for woman, hystero, metro, metrio or utero for uterus, meno or menstruo for menstruation, myo for muscle or uterus, ovario or for ovary, pelvi for pelvis or pelvic cavity, perineo for perineum, salpingo or salpingo for on the salpinx or salpinx and fallopian tube, vagina or culpo for vagina, vulva or physio for vulva, amnio or amniano for amnion, 
cephalo for head, chorio for chorion, embryo or embryoon for embryo or immature form, beto for fetus, fundo for fundus, galacto or lacto for milk, gestatio from conception to birth, gravido for pregnancy, hydro for water or fluid, mammo or masto for breast or mammary gland, nato for birth, oligo for scanty or few, Umphalo for umbilicus or navel, pubo for pubis, toxo for labor or birth. Prefixes common or anti or pre for, for before, ecto, outer or outside, endo, in, within, micro, small, neo, new, nulli, none, post, after or behind. Suffixes arche for beginning, Sale for herniation or protrusion, centesis for puncture to aspirate, aya or ism for condition of, mitri for measurement of, partum for childbirth or labor, pexi for surgical fixation, plasia for formation or growth, plasti for surgical repair or reconstruction, reg or regia for flowing forth, Rapi for suture, Rhea for flow or discharge, and Tomi for incision. Some adjectives and other related terms are abnea, uh, abdominopelvic for pertaining to the abdomen and pelvis, congenital for existing at birth, DOB for date of birth or the day of birth of a patient, the estimated um, Date of confinement, EDC, is the estimated date of delivery, or EDD, the date at which an infant is expected to be born, calculated from the date of the mother's last menstrual period. Gestational is pertaining to pregnancy, gravida, a pregnant woman, in vitro, in an artificial environment, intrauterine for within the uterus. LMP for last menstrual period is the date indicating the first day of the patient's last menstrual, menstrual period. Meconium is the greenish black first stool of a newborn. Menarche, a girl's first menstrual period. Menstruation or menses is the cyclic shedding of intrametrial lining and discharge of bloody fluid from the uterus, and it occurs approximately every 28 days. Neonatal is pertaining to the period immediately succeeding birth and continuing through the first 28 days of life. A neonate or newborn is a newborn infant. Nulli gravida is a woman who has never conceived a child. Nulli para is a woman who has never given birth to a child. Para is a woman who has given birth. Postpartum is the period of time after birth. Prenatal is the period of time preceding birth. Prima gravida is a woman who has had one pregnancy. Suprapubic is above the pubic bone. Transabdominal is across or through the abdomen. Transvaginal is across or through the vagina. Stillbirth is the birth of an infant who has died before delivery. Uterine is pertaining to the uterus. Symptoms and medical conditions re related to the female reproductive skin um, system is uh, adenomyosis, or the presence of endometrial tissue growing throughout the myometrium. Amenorrhea is the absence of menstrual bleeding. Atrophic vaginitis is an inflammation of the vagina due to the thinning and shrinking of the tissues, as well as decreased lubrication. Bacterial vaginosis is an infection of the vagina caused by the disruption of the normal balance of bacteria. Cervical dysplasia is the development of abnormal cells in the lining of the cervix. Dysmenorrhea is difficult or painful menstruation. Dyspareunia, dyspareunia is the condition of experiencing pain during sexual intercourse. Endometriosis is the presence of endometrial tissue somewhere other than the lining of the uterus and then i'll pause here and we'll begin in the next section